It's a devastating diagnosis with a very strange name. When parents are told that their child has fragile X syndrome, they often have no idea what that means or what comes next. Channel 2 Sarah Donchi explains the genetic condition and how clinics across the country are working to treat children and improve their lives. When Matthew Kaplan came into the world 13 years ago, his parents knew something wasn't quite right. From the moment Matthew was born, um, he was always off. He was always slow to meet his milestones and the milestones became greater and greater and greater. The diagnosis, Fragile X Syndrome, the most common cause of intellectual disabilities, especially in boys. Listen to your lungs. At this Fragile X clinic in Florida, doctors are working to better understand and treat the condition. Fragile X is caused by a genetic mutation that prevents the body from making a protein vital for brain development. It causes both learning and behavioral disabilities. It is a common cause of autism. We think that around 60 to 80 percent of children who have fragile X will also have autism. The care and cutting edge research being done here costs money, which is why the Kaplan family started a foundation, Families for Fragile X. They spearhead a yearly race to raise money for research and support. Doctors say great strides have already been made, especially in genetics. We are very hopeful that there is going to be treatment. At the moment, there is not a cure. Uh, there's no specific treatment, but we do have different approaches that we can help them if there's uh, aggression or attention deficit or other features. The Kaplans hope their work will pay off for Matthew and others like him. My dream, whether it's through medicine, whether it's through therapy, um, is for independence the, and happiness. We have links to resources for parents of children diagnosed with Fragile X. Look for the story under the health section of clicktohouston.com. Sarah Donchi, KPRC Channel 2 News.